Well, welcome back, my. Uh, yes, that Robin's definitely wants me to do a bit of digging. He's after some food, but uh, <laughs> what's he going to do when I go now dig? Anyway, this is the guttering. I need to get it cleaned. So I've just set this up here on um, hashtag starting a new allotment well away because there's some uh, washing up liquid in this just to help uh, clear the uh, rubbish off these uh, these six lengths of four meter guttering for the long veg. And today's date is March the 3rd, Sunday, March the 3rd. So let's get cracking. Well, this is uh, nice warm water. It's not a cold day, but it looks like we've got this rain coming in and uh, this uh, storm just giving it a quick soak. They're not going to clear up uh, 100%, but at least I know I've uh, tried my best if I do get any uh, contamination, any bugs. So I'll press on with this and uh, I'll just stop and start but it has just started to rain. That's the three done. Uh, I'll get the other three done and I'll see you back in the polytunnel. So we're back in the polytunnel now. <clears throat> and this is the framework that I've set up which can be seen uh, clearly in the uh, March tour. And uh, I'll uh, just set you down. So obviously secrets are secrets but uh, I'm going to be using uh, this uh, Coco Koi. Again, I can't see whether you can see that clearly enough. The light's not very good in here. But I'm going to be putting a, a thin layer along the bottom. That hopefully will, well, will, will be where uh, the root travels. It's very dry at the moment, but as I add my liquid plant foods, as I say, I'm not quite sure how deep to uh, put it. Uh, I'll probably increase the depth the further I go to where the um, it's growing because it's the tap root that finds the nutrients so by the time it gets down to here and extended further forward I can keep adding my uh, homemade liquid uh, homemade compost and increase the strength of the uh, liquid uh, plant food that I use so I'll get on with that bit first Now that koi, uh, koi core was uh, sieved a couple of years ago, I've had it stored quite a while now and uh, the next lot will be my sieved uh, homemade uh, compost again probably not going to see that, I'll probably just show you uh, a close up uh, shortly but this is now where I'm going to see whether I actually need any extra support because I've got to build this up so that I can put another piece of gutter in over the top so I'll just show you a close up of the compost so that's the uh, Coco Koi it does want to show you but then it doesn't and then we move down to the uh, homemade compost. I think it's the uh, the light of the uh, the guttering. But I'll get on with this and see whether I can actually get one of these gutters on top. The uh, carrots and parsnip that's at home is probably now reaching the end and coming out the bottom. So I may need to fetch those and pop that into the top. Uh, and get them going. So this is the end where uh, it'll be uh, hanging out the top 
which will be poked through there through the environment and outside when it warms up and uh, I've had to take the uh, end cap off obviously I didn't think of that did I so now I'm just going to open it up to see how much room or how much more soil I need to put in there and I'm just going to lift it up now and see what sort of weight it is so I have got to add a, a, a few bits more you can just see where it's uh, especially just uh, just here obviously it's been packed down and when I put add uh, water and that then it will wash it down but I want enough in there for the uh, the roots to have something to uh, live off so I think I'm going to have to go home and fetch one of my uh, my roots so this is uh, my uh, long carrot uh, it's uh, seeds from Marcus Powell uh, he does really uh, nice long show carrots now I'm going to open the bottom up and if the roots there uh, I'm uh, in trouble because uh, tap roots do grow very long yeah I'm happy with that that end you can see that end oh shit excuse my language now is that part of the oh okay or was it was that the root no it was the uh, the glue on that so sorry about my language guys so I'm going to pop this up the top end and uh, get it uh, potted in no editing here guys <laughs> so I've opened that uh, cardboard roll up with the scissors very carefully uh, propped the carrot up just slightly and uh, topped the rest up so now I'm going to get the holes drilled in this other guttering at suitable location so uh, it can have a water as and when required well we've uh, got something together that wasn't easy because I'm putting the cable ties on then they won't go through the holes very easy so I tried to drag it out it fell apart and I'm still feeling a little bit of embarrassed about saying that word I hope everybody understands why I said it but I'm still embarrassed there so that's at that end that now will go and sit uh, up in that top corner or I might leave them here actually in the middle of the tunnel until uh, the weather gets better and any any warm days they can uh, they can be pushed outside uh, into the open air to get uh, the, the good sunlight I'll have a go at uh, another one because I've got the uh, my uh, gladiator f1 parsnip here as well and when I reveal that one I'm not going to say nothing honest Right, we're ready to have a look at the, my parsnip uh, root now and hopefully this won't be uh, at the bottom and this is just short of two foot long so uh, hopefully it won't be there and it doesn't look like it is thank goodness shan't disturb it anymore and uh, when I've done my experiments um, right early on when uh, I was uh, probably episodes four or five I showed you how long a parsnip gets uh, the tap root that's why we shouldn't actually pop them into small pots I use kitchen rolls so I'll pop this in and uh, cut it open especially where the cellar tape is holding the tubes together well that's two done the third one I'll be sowing the uh, Medway's long beetroot directly into the compost at the end so depending on what time I've got this morning and uh, at the moment it's balanced quite nicely between those two and it's just sticking out enough not to uh, hinder the, uh, the compost bin so I'm pleased with that so the holes are fitted and uh, I've made up uh, a weak mix of manure runoff 
and as I go up I'm going to uh, add uh, more more water to it I've just got to get used to this try not to rush things only adding a wee bit at a time just to get the uh, the compost nice and wet because that cocoa koi was uh, a little bit dry but I did water the plants at the top and it was like a little train underneath the dry compost pushing the compost up and then uh, dropping it back down again and I thought for a minute I was going to lose everything at the, the end but that's the basis of it if I can settle the pipes evenly between uh, two points that point there and this point here it stops it bellying out and depending on if the roots come out the end I very much doubt it this year it's my first time at having a, a real good go at this but I've had to rush it a little bit because I sowed the seeds and once they come out the bottom of those cardboard rolls then it may hinder what uh, I, I want to achieve and uh, again I do apologise for the, uh, the language earlier on well I hope these uh, perk up now obviously they've been in the greenhouse grow room enjoying a, a bit of warmth so hopefully it won't get uh, too cold for them and uh, they'll continue uh, to grow and it'll be interesting to see uh, how long uh, these roots do get uh, I'm especially interested in the Gladiator F1 past it because I can get them to 1.4 directly into the ground so now it's got uh, a complete run of 4 metres hopefully uh, it'll do well and uh, it'll be worth uh, taking uh, to mould them Happy gardening to you all Till next time my friends ta -ra for now and this storm's coming in, You're, the, the storm will be over by the time you see this and I'm just hoping that the uh, polytunnel's still here. We are expecting uh, quite high winds uh, for the UK.